Good morning students. Today we are going to do the poem Go Not to the Temple by the famous poet Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore is one of the India's greatest poets. He is the composer of Indian National Anthem. His works are loved for the lyrical beauty and spiritual depth. Reflecting love for nature and his homeland, he received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. for his collection of poems gitanjali so the objective of this video is that by the end of the poem you will be able to understand the meanings of the difficult words in the context of the poem and explain the poem in your own words so let's start with the summary of the poem go not to the temple through this poem the poet tells us not to go to the temple to put flowers upon the feet of god to light candles before the altar of god to bow down our head in prayer by sitting on bended knees or to ask for forgiveness for our sins he tells us that first we should fill our own house with the fragrance of love remove the darkness of sin from our heart learn to bow in humility before our own fellow men bend down to lift someone who is down trodden and forgive those who have sinned against us in this poem we will learn about metaphor a figure of speech stating that two things are similar see the examples the book was a passport to adventure you are what you eat her hair was silk in these examples you see two things are compared but the comparison is made without using as or like so whenever two things are compared without using as or like it is known as metaphor so let's begin with the poem so open page number 49 of your english literature books and we will divide this poem in three stanzas and before beginning with the poem i would like to discuss the word meanings and phrases of the first stanza of this poem so underline the word fragrance and write down its meaning sweet smell then coming on phrases in the first line underline to put flowers upon the feet of god and write down bhagwan ke charno mein phool rakhna in the next line underline with the fragrance of love and write down pyar ki khushboo ke sath so let's start with the reading of the first stanza go not to the temple to put flowers upon the feet of god first fill your own house with the fragrance of love here fragrance means sweet smell to put flowers upon the feet of god bhagwan ke charno mein phool rakhna with the fragrance of love pyar ki khushboo ke sath now in these opening lines of the poem the poet wants to say that that we need not go to the temple to put put flowers upon the feet of god he says that instead of that first we should fill our own house our own heart with the sweet smell of love now as i had already told you the poet has used a figure of speech metaphor in this poem so here fragrance of love is the metaphor because here the poet has compared fragrance of flowers to the goodness of the heart now as this comparison is made without using as or like so it is a metaphor so let's start with the explanation of the first stanza now open your copies and put the heading go not to the temple the name of the poem at the top of the page then in the margin line with pencil write down hint now what is the hint hint is the first two to three words and last two to three words of the stanza so here a hint will be go not to the and dash dash and after that fragrance of love now in the very next line you will write reference to the context 
Now, what is reference to the context? Reference to the context is where we tell about by whom the poem is written, what is the name of the poem, and what message the poet conveys in the poem. So, it will be these lines have been taken from the poem, go not to the temple. Now, go not to the temple will come in the single inverted commas. Now, by whom it is written? It is written by Rabindranath Tagore. So, we will underline Rabindranath Tagore. Now, what message does the poet convey in this poem? In this poem, the poet says that serving humanity is like loving God. So, this will be our reference to the context. Now, in the very next line, you will write the heading explanation from the margin line only. Now, what is the explanation? In these lines of the poem, the poet says that we need not put flowers upon the feet of God. He says that instead of this, we should first fill our heart with the sweet smell of love. In this way, we will do our reference to the context and explanation on copy. I hope you understood this summary, reference to context and the explanation of the first stanza. Now, I want you to read the poem again and again for better understanding. Thank you.